especially if they're going to Sparto High School, a little cheaper on you this morning because this young lady, Azalea Guevara, is joining us from Sparto High School. She has uh, started a dress drive for prom dresses that is going to save a whole lot of money. Good morning, Azalea. Good morning. Okay, so now what year are you at Esparto High School? I'm currently a junior. A junior. Okay, now I understand because your mom emailed and said uh, that you had this epiphany that the prom costs way too much money, but you could do way better if you got some donations. Is that right? That's correct. So what did you get? Um, so, so far we have over 100 dresses. Wow. And about 20 pairs of shoes. Nice. Um, they all came from people who live in Esparto, and also a lot of the dresses came from Red Salon in Woodland on Court Street. They're actually helping us promote the dress drive and storing dresses for us. So alone from there, we got around 40 dresses. Wow. Okay, so take us look uh, through some of those dresses. I see some that you've got uh, hung up right there. Are those some of your favorites? Yes, they are. Okay, I have to ask, have you picked out um, one to wear for yourself? I may or may not have. <laughs> um, there's just so many to choose from. Um, a lot of the dresses are also um, very expensive, mm -hmm. and most of them have tags on them still. So wow. we have some here that are from David's Bridal, and those dresses can range up from over $400. Wow. Now, where did you get the donations from? I know you mentioned Red Salon. Uh, so it's mostly community members, right, who have donated these dresses themselves? Yes. Um, so we're kind of a close-knit community here in Esparto. So we have, like, Facebook pages dedicated to our communities. So we basically just posted our ad, and I made posters, and I would post them on my own personal social media. And that's where all of them came from. I put my contact information, mm -hmm. and me and my mom would go and pick up donations as we needed to. Okay, so I know that you are opening your dress closet up to students today at uh, Esparto High School. Do you need more dresses? Are you looking for more donations? Um, we're always open to more donations. Right now, I think that we have a good number, but if there's anyone who would like to donate, um, of course. Okay, and I know that you mentioned Red Salon uh, was also helping you out with this. So what we'll do is uh, also give uh, on our website the information for Red Salon so that people, if they have some dresses now that they want to swing by and donate, you can do that and maybe get a head start on next year's closet because you want this to be a tradition, yeah? Yes, of course. We, uh, we hope that this goes on for years to come. Right on. Nice work, Azalea. Very cool. If that's a tradition that she leads at Esparto High School, she will be well known in the annals of the history books. Nicely done. Gorgeous dresses. I wonder, I, you know, I'm going to check back with her mom and find out which dress she wore. I have a feeling, I think the little gold number with the one shoulder. Uh -huh. oh. But I don't, want, I don't want to ruin it for her. I don't want to ruin it for her. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Did you see those shoes? Fabulous. Fabulous. Man. Very nice. Going back over to you. Thank you so much.